Welcome back to the channel, guys. So today we got the burnout truck in the shop, doing some finishing touches on it, just making sure everything was good after Indy. Um, did a pretty good burnout at Indy, blew the tires, everything was good. And uh, right now we're getting it ready because we're going to an event this weekend called Daytona Truck Meet. It's a um, pretty big truck show they do out there in Daytona. They've been doing it for a couple of years now, quite a few years. We went a few years ago. It was at like a little convention center. Now they rent out the whole Daytona International Speedway. So we're gonna bring the burnout truck. They got the small burnout con competition going on. Um, it was just gonna be like a straight line to start out and this and that. And I talked to the guy that's putting on Jordan and he's like, yeah, man. He's like, you know, um, we'd like you know, to maybe sponsor the burnout contest. So I said, well, why not? I'm gonna be there doing burnouts anyways. So uh, there's not really cash prize, there's trophy bragging rights. I'll be out of that, but we got some other guys coming to compete. And uh, we're gonna take the burnout truck. We have a burnout due Friday and Saturday. So two days worth of burnouts. So she's got to hold up. Um, Friday, I'm actually not going to be doing the burnout. Uh, Jason that works for me, he's going to take it. He does a lot of work on the truck, helps me out a lot with it. I'm most of the time, you know, running around doing stuff with the business and I got to put somebody on to get it done. And he's usually the guy. So he's put the engine in it before he's, he's, he's done it all. So I want him to rip it, do a burnout in it. I think it should be pretty fun. And uh, we're going to go kind of show him how to mess with this thing because it's not just like you know floor it and go in this truck you kind of got to do a couple things and uh not uh not uh, bog the turbo down and stuff like that so we're gonna do a little test burnout see how it does hopefully everything is working good on the truck since indy and uh get her loaded up go to daytona where are the egt's at we're gonna want the egt's around 11 1200 so a little bit more see how it's starting to spin now you can lay into it and start shifting Well, as you guys saw in the burnout, it is doing its job. So uh, I didn't do my job by filming. I did a horrible job, by the way, but uh, we don't want to do too many burnouts with it. We want it to last all weekend, so we don't want to break anything. But uh, she's ready to rip. I'm excited. Daytona Truck Meet is a massive event, and I'm pretty excited to be a part of it. So uh, it's one of the biggest truck events probably in the country. Probably already said that in the video, but uh, just wanted to be known. Anyways, guys, double down. Race truck is back um, here in the shop. I got to get this transmission put back in, and I got one for it. I'll go over that with you guys in a couple videos from now. And uh, when I get back to it, been busy. This old girl had a few little issues with it. Uh, most of you guys are asking, too. This is a 6.2 diesel. It is not a 6.2 gas truck. Had a couple people comment on the videos and stuff talking about it being gas. Guys, this is a diesel. This is old school. No turbo. I mean, it's like, it's basically a V8 gas engine that they run diesel through it. Don't get me wrong, but it is a diesel. So in case you guys are wondering, that's what that's going down with that. Um, I'll go over that with you guys. Still haven't even washed it from plant bamboo. Still all muddy. It was bogging so freaking good. So happy with it. Got some more upgrades to do that for the channel. And uh, next shot, we'll be headed to Daytona. So keep watching the video. Hope you guys enjoy our trip to Daytona because it's going to be a blast. Well guys, we are loaded and ready to go. Make one of our inaugural stops at the Wawa. The truck is clean, wheels are polished, going to a truck show, so had to get old girl looking good. My, my detail guy, Fusi, came by, waxed it, polished it. She is looking fresh. Got the ride around unit for the weekend, so we got something to ride around on with the guys. And we got this X3, it's gonna be going in Hostel Wheels booth. We got some of their Hostel Wheels on there, Alphas. Things are sick for the UTVs. That'll be sitting there. And then of course we got the burnout truck. Jason's fired up about driving this thing. He's gonna really be fired up about doing a burnout in this thing. He does a lot of work on the truck. So it's pretty cool that he gets to go out there and do one. So we are headed to Daytona now, just pulling out of Bradenton. And uh, we're full of fuel on our way. We are here, dude, we made it. What do you think? <laughs> we're ready to go. Place is huge. Came over the 500 a couple times and been in there. It's pretty badass. But we're supposed to go over here. There's a little place called One Day Toner on the other side of the street. They've got all our credentials and stuff in there. We have to go get those so we can go get into the booth or uh, I guess we only have a booth. We just have a burnout pit to go to. That's all we got to do. They already got it set up. Just a piece but of asphalt. Just, yeah, just a piece of asphalt we sit at. But yeah, Daytona Speedway, guys. Very historic. 
awesome place. If you've never been, you got to go once. It's pretty cool. Here we go. Going down under the track to go in the middle. Done this once or twice. Other things going on. We actually uh, snuck in here one time and uh, we're able to park with the media for the Daytona 500. Don't ask me how we managed that, but uh, we pretty much just parked like we knew the place, put some orange vests on, and they were like, oh, it must be media. And we were able to park, so pretty cool. Thank you, old Chevy's gonna pull this Ooh, out. Guys, this is a pretty steep hill we got with the old trailer behind us. Oh yeah, dude, I love this. We got the American flag. We got the burnout pit. Oh, dude, you, yes. Hell yeah. All right, guys, welcome back. So we got okay. Jordan here, Truck Fever. He's actually the one that started this whole show and got it going on a few years ago. He runs the place, he does all this. And right here, he has built us an 80 by 80 burnout pit. Time for so, some donuts, man. I'm getting a little hungry. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Super excited about it, man, because at first we were just going to do a straight line. That's what they've done in the past. This year, luckily, he talked to them and said, hey, you know, we want to make it bigger, better. So we were able to do this pit. We got grandstands over there. People are going to be sitting in. They can be along the fences, whatever. I feel like this is going to be a pretty packed corner here. So super excited about it. I'm ready to rip a donut in here and hopefully blow some tires off. So again, Jordan, thank you for putting this on. He made it all possible. So this is pretty awesome. And uh, hopefully, you know, if you're not here this year, we'll get to see you next year in it because this thing's going to be massive. Oh, yeah. Even bigger. Well, guys, we are unloaded. We got some spare tires. We got the jack. We got everything set up. And uh, the burnout truck fired right up. Good sign. Trailer's unloaded. We're going to take the uh, My Maverick into the uh, Hostel Wheels booth. Let them display that thing for the weekend. And then uh, this is our uh, pit vehicle for the weekend. So uh, let's get it. Well, we're out here today. It is Saturday. It is extremely hot. <clears throat> we got a few people starting to get in the stands. And we really don't have that many contestants right now. There's literally like three of us. So hopefully a few more people get in on this and they want to do some burnouts, that'd be great. And uh, you know, we can uh, hopefully have a good competition for everybody. But like I guess I'm gonna let Jason rip mine for a little bit. Probably gonna go in do like a little test burnout, kind of get that going. And uh, hopefully he'll be able to pop tires and uh, get the truck started and get the show started. All right, truck's running. We got the crowd filling up. Nick's got the van out here. Yeah. How you feeling, man? Yeah. Pop some tires today? Of course. All right, I like to hear that. He's popped in several times at Cletus and Cars. We're here in the Daytona truck meet. And uh, I'm going to let Jason rip it. Like I said, he gets the first run in the truck this year. And uh, you ready for this, dude? Dude's done a lot of work on it. It's about time he gets to test it out. Don't, don't embarrass us.
tire swap. Justin's gonna do another burnout. All right guys, so Nick here, Plumber's Crack Van, won today's burnout contest the first day. And Robert right here with the old Duramax was right on his tail, 
but he popped some tires. He popped some tires. Boy's got the trophy today. He's waiting and tomorrow. He's coming back tomorrow. He said he's not selling for seconds, so he'll be back tomorrow. He said these hostels are going to be on the rim, no doubt. We're done. So first day in the books. Uh, we're going to go drive around, check out some of the trucks, and uh, see what everybody's got here. Hopefully recruit some more guys for tomorrow's contest. But uh, my boy Nick killed it today. Thanks, Nick. Appreciate it. He crushed it. And, uh, yeah, so thank you for watching JC's channel. We'll see you next time.